Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for the dailysheeple.com and this is your new shot. So let's go to the Guardian. They're reporting nerve implant restores consciousness to a man that was in an, a persistent vegetative state. This is an unbelievable breakthrough. What it also says is kind of like I've believed for a long time that we really don't truly understand what's going on when a person is in a persistent vegetative state. We don't really understand the level of consciousness that truly exists if a person uh, has damage to, say, their brain stem or something like that to where they can't relay the information for whatever reason, that a consciousness may exist within that brain, but it just can't express itself in any sort of way. And <laughs> this latest research really plays to that concept that just because somebody's in a persistent vegetative state doesn't mean they don't feel, doesn't mean that they can't perceive things. It just means that they're, they're trapped in their own head. It says a 35-year-old man who's been in a persistent vegetative state for 15 years has shown signs of consciousness after receiving a pioneering therapy involving nerve stimulation. The treatment challenges a widely accepted view that there's no prospect of a patient recovering consciousness if they've been in PVS for longer than 12 months. Now, since sustaining severe brain injuries in a car accident, the man had been completely unaware of the world around him. But when fitted with an implant to stimulate the vagus nerve, which travels from the brain stem uh, into the brain, the man appeared to flicker back into a state of consciousness. He started to track objects with his eyes. He began to stay awake while being read a story, and his eyes opened with surprise when the examiner suddenly moved her face closer to the patients. He could even respond to some simple requests, such as turning his head when asked, although it took about a minute. Now, Angela Sirigu, who led the work at the Institute of Science in uh, the Scientist, Sciences of Cognitive uh, Learning, Mark Ginrod in Lynn France, or Lyon France, said, he's still paralyzed, he can't talk, but he can respond. And now he's more aware. See, now he's able to, through this um, implant, it basically repairs damage to the vagus nerve and starts to, almost the brain starts to repair itself. Now, the vagus nerve, which was what the treatment targeted, connects the brain to almost all the vital organs in the body. It runs from the brain stem down both sides of the neck, across the chest, and into the abdomen. In the brain, it links directly to two regions known to play roles in alertness and consciousness. Now, the surgery lasted about 20 minutes. Uh, they put it on the vagus nerve in the man's neck. And after one month, of nerve stimulation, the patient's attention movements and brain activity significantly improved and he had shifted into a state of minimal consciousness. Now think about this, okay? Think about those that have not been in a persistent vegetative state for 15 years. Imagine what this kind of therapy can do for somebody that may be in a coma for 30 days, that may have sustained uh, minor more minor, uh, more minor of an injury than this gentleman here. In this case, this shows a lot of promise because if this can take somebody out of a persistent vegetative state that's been in it for 15 years, imagine what it can do to somebody whose um, body hasn't deteriorated after 15 years. And believe me, there's a lot of deterioration along with that. So certainly a lot to be encouraged by here since we're talking about you know, maybe, just maybe, having something that's going to prevent or maybe prevent some people from having to make that fateful decision to pull the plug on a loved one when that may not be necessary. And maybe that loved one doesn't want the plug pulled on them, but they have no way to express it. Now, we're working towards ways that that can actually happen. So very encouraging news out of uh, the science and the medical community. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.